Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how you can map a controller to use in Unity 5. So I have this little scene set here, nothing too important, I have a first person controller. And if I play, I can obviously use the keyboard to play as you would expect. So a lot of people ask how to use a controller with Unity. It requires mapping your controls for your input and to do that you go to edit, you go to project settings and input. By default you should have around 18 inputs and what we're going to use are for now these ones from horizontal downward. So this little button here has horizontal and by default it should hopefully have joystick axis X and the same will apply to vertical. This is for example the left thumbstick on your controller. By default they work no problem. What a lot of people struggle with is how to get the other buttons working and what I will do in this tutorial as well is I will show you how to do things but I will leave some information in the description or a pinned comment on this video. So let's say we want our A button to jump. Jump for example on the FPS controller is set as um, jump right here. You can see it's currently set as positive button joystick button 3. So let's change this to the A button on I'm using an Xbox One controller. So the A button is mapped out as joystick button zero. So you would literally put joystick button zero right there. So if we press play now and press the A button on our controller, you can see that we are jumping. You'll also notice I'm moving around using the left thumbstick. However, I'm trying to turn and look around with the right, but it's not mapped. So let's map that now. To do that, all we need to do is we need to go to where these mouse X and Y settings are and modify these. Now, if you modify these ones specifically, it will mean the mouse will no longer work in your game. You could duplicate them and it is recommended you duplicate them down here, but it's not too essential. So I'm just gonna change the type from mouse movement to joystick axis and change the joy number, sorry, not the joy number, the axis to number Four, so fourth axis. The same also applies to Y. So change it to joystick and change it to fifth axis. So fourth and fifth axis are what you would use to look around. If we press play now, we should be able to see that we can look around, but it is very, very slow and sluggish. So let's change that. Let's change the sensitivity up to, let's say one and sensitivity to one there too. And we should be able to see, we can look around much quicker. As you can also invert the axis as well. So a lot of people like to change uh, the axis on the right thumbstick controller to uh, up and down, swap it round. So I'm going to tick invert right there and it should feel more comfortable how you are used to in games. So as it stands right now, we actually have the basics of our controller mapped out in unity so i can assure you everything i'm doing here is done via the uh, controller i'll see if i can show that let's press escape so we can see the mouse move the mouse and it's not working you can see it's all the controller okay so another way of doing this uh, for example if you want to fire your weapon this is down as fire one right here and that's down as joystick button zero, which would be the A button in this case. So we want to change this to, let's have the right trigger. So the right trigger is going to be change to joystick axis and change it from X axis to, I think it's number 10 for the right trigger. I can't really show that in this tutorial because I haven't got any kind of weapon set up, but the triggers, uh, left trigger is number nine, so ninth axis. And the right trigger is the 10th axis. So if you have a first person shooter at this point, you would have trigger working to shoot. But also make sure you get rid of this positive button zero. So fire two, for example, is down as joystick button one, which is the B button. But like I say, I'll leave all this in uh, the description or a pinned comment in this video. Um, it'll give you all the axis and um, button inputs you need. But yeah, that is how you map a controller to Unity. It's not as hard as it looks, is it? 
it's something a lot of people struggle with but once you know how it's real simple so guys thank you very much for watching